Okay, so this is the Wio terminal, uh, which I was sent by Seed Studio uh, to have a play around with. Now, I did say to them that it wasn't really my thing because I've played around with it and uh, it's beyond my skills. Um, I mean, there are loads and loads of tutorials. Uh, you can see here, get started with Wio terminal uh, and all the features and specifications, and it talks you through uh, lots of things that I just don't do with my Pi. Uh, but I know that the whole maker side is a huge side of it and this is actually a really good quality display and there is loads and loads of features in it but I've been for quite a few hours trying to get to uh, install various things on it and uh, not many things have been working for me but I know it's just that it's not my forte I, I don't really do this I don't do any coding but let's have a look at it and uh, show you various things about it so it's uh, 120 megahertz up to 200 megahertz CPU speed. Uh, it's got a program memory of 512 kilobytes, uh, external flash of four megabytes, 192 kilobytes of RAM, uh, resolution of 320 by 240 on a little 2.4 inch display. There's various different applications maybe for this, you know, certainly for monitoring things. There is, uh, I did see that you can, you can monitor your Raspberry Pi and various different things about that. Now I've got mine plugged in with a USB cable. Uh, it comes as standard with a game which I showed in uh, one of my previous videos on the seed, uh, well basically the case with fan behind it there. So we've got Wi-Fi on it, it's got Bluetooth, uh, it's got an accelerometer, it's got a microphone, uh, it has its own little speaker and a light sensor, infrared emitter. Uh, I see one of these uh, tutorials of build a TV remote control. You can also use it as a mouse and as a keyboard. There's there's just so much it can do, but it really isn't my thing. But I figured I, I need, I've need i been given it, so I need to kind of highlight it. And people will be aware of what it can do, and uh, they can choose uh, if, if they can program themselves, because there's a guy on uh, YouTube who, uh, and I won't play his video, but I'll skip on a bit, uh, created a little Space Invaders game. Uh, and I did actually try and install this. Uh, so, yeah, all the way through, if we go near the end. And it actually, it actually scrolls pretty smoothly. It was, I was quite impressed with how good it looks. Just to play a tiny bit of it. And you can see it's a little joystick and there's three buttons on the top. And obviously if you want to see more of it, watch this video. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Uh, now, I did have a look for, uh, where is it? There was a link here for his GitHub, uh, which is this one. I see there's a readme file here, but it doesn't really tell me an awful lot. And I scroll down and it just says, this is a small retro light game created in RGPy, MicroPython for the Wii O terminal. Now, I guess it assumes that you know some sort of programming to be able to do it, because if I go to the file, I end up with some text uh, and a small readme. So all the code and everything is here. So I figured, oh, maybe I'll just copy and paste it into the software. This is the software that you use uh, to basically transfer things over to it. So via USB, it looks like you can also do it with an SD card as well. Um, but basically, there's, there's various different things to upload content to it. And you've got various different things. Uh, so there's a firmware updater, although I couldn't get it to update. It always comes up with an error for me. Uh, and it says it needs something extra. Uh, so this is my device. I can do test connection and it says programmer not responding. Make sure the firmware updater sketch is loaded on the board. Well, I don't really know where to get the firmware updater sketch. If you're going to do it, you probably go through bit by bit. I did look at the first video um, and uh, it was pretty, pretty well laid out, but uh, it wasn't done on a Raspberry Pi with Linux. It was done on a Windows computer. So certain steps are a little bit different. So just show you something I did get working file and examples and if we go down to the bottom here examples for seed uino wio terminal uh, and the ones i had most success with were various different things in here so i did find now the resolution doesn't go up to that but it did work for me if i did this demo 3d cube so you can see i've clicked on that now i can upload it with this and you'll see what happens to the display uh, so it's compiling you can see my display has gone off. It will now reboot and you can see the 3D cube. So I can, I've, I'm can i connected to it. I, I can get various things to, to work, but a lot of the things don't work. And I guess that's because they need extra things. Uh, I mean, I, I, I figured because it was examples and examples for 
Wio terminal. I figured all of these would work, but it's actually quite difficult to work out what everything is. And I didn't find like a list of things that you could easily just add to this, but I'm sure they probably are out there because I've seen some other videos and people did have quite a few things that they'd added onto here. So things like this, Sprite TFT Rainbow. So if I, and if I, let's go full screen with this. So you can see here an example showing rainbow colors on a 160 by 128 TFT LCD screen and to show a basic example of font use. And if you wanna, and I guess you can play around with the code. So compiling sketch, you can see on the bottom right, it's, uh, it's got a little timeline there. I've enjoyed messing about with it, but it, but it just, I guess it's something you need to devote a lot of time to, or if you know coding, a lot of the things will be logical to you. And all free font setting automa, free font demo. Oh, here we go. So this is different, and I just put my finger on the fan. Different fonts. And I guess this is certainly something for uh, if, it's, if it's a display for a machine uh, or just some sort of monitor for commercial use. There you go. And it does seem to scroll pretty smoothly. And it's pretty fast as well. You know, 200, hertz, 200 megahertz processor. My, my first PC was a 75 megahertz. So considering it is as small as it is, and you can get a battery for it. Uh, although I use, I bought this for a different project, uh, which is a, a power bank. Uh, and this is quite small. It's about the same sort of size as the Pi. You can see there, it's about the same sort of length and width as the Pi. Uh, and this has a, a handy sort of percentage on it. So it shows you how much battery is in it. The Wio terminal works on that. So if you need it as a true portable device, you can do. Right, so let's try something else. TFT flash bitmap. It's gone off, comes back on again. Oh, <laughs> I keep touching the fan. Oh, right, okay. I don't know quite what it's doing, but it's uh, obviously, again, it's throwing things around really fast and, and doing all sorts of effects and things. So let's, yeah, so I found this one, uh, examples for any board, and uh, this was the, one of the early ones I tried, and I thought I'd, uh, I'd show what it's like, because it made me laugh, because it sounded like a ZX Spectrum. I'll see if it does exactly the same thing again. So, hello world. So no mention about audio or anything here, okay? So let's hit upload, and I'll show you what happens. So that sounds like a, There you go. Now it sounds like a spectrum. The way it changed that tone, very weird. I, d I don't don't even know what it's doing when it does that. Um, obviously, it's something that's not compatible for it. If you want to stop it, just get this little switch and do it down, but do it twice, and then it will go into its loading mode. The blue light will start to flash. You can see on my display that it's recognised uh, a drive. Oh, and I think we've crashed. Oh no, there's a that error mounting here. Speech demos, talk, US clock. I did try this before and I, I didn't think it, I don't think it worked. Let's just hit upload. So it's off at the moment because I've put it in that save mode. Ah, so error compiling for board meters. Let's try that. Let's just, no, let's not read it. Let's just go straight in and, and have the surprise. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks cool. So let's get that up closer again to show you that the color is really quite decent. And you can see it looks very smooth. So you can see that would look nice if that's uh, say by your monitor, monitoring temperature or something like that. Uh, so if you've got the skills to be able to code something like that. Yeah, that is a better one. Just tap on that to focus it. So it came with some stickers with some GPIO pins. I did mention in a previous video that I was gonna get a, a riser so I could, could actually attach to the GPIO pins. It looks like there isn't a program to get it to use the display from the GPIO pins, but it, I think it did say it was possible, uh, but it doesn't come with it. Uh, and there's a book with all the various information, infrared, emitter, micro SD card slot, and all the, all the extra details uh, and also in here, looks like we've got another another little joystick and a tiny, which will come in handy actually, 
a very small USB-C to USB-A cable. So that, that could be really useful for one of my portable projects because I'm guessing it's a, a power and a data cable. So I'm pretty impressed that it comes with that. Anyway, so I gave it a try. It's not really my sort of thing, but uh, I could see uh, other people online have got some amazing things working with it. It is a really impressive piece of kit. It's very inexpensive, got loads of sensors and various things on it. So uh, yeah, hope this all helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.